this video, we're going to talk about calling in external JavaScript files. Now, the way to do this, there's a reason to call in external JavaScript files because you want to keep the JavaScript sometimes separate from the coding on your HTML page, as well as if you have JavaScript libraries that you call in on a regular basis, you can use them across different web pages. And this is a great advantage with JavaScript that you're able to call in the actual code that you're using. And the way that it works is you would have your Javas you would have your regular HTML page, and here's where I'm calling in the JavaScript file. So the JavaScript file is indicated with a JS extension. So we would name it whatever we want and dot js. And this what this does is this looks for a file at this path when when the browser is rendering out, it goes through all the top part goes to HTML, when it comes to this JavaScript call, it looks for Java capital S dot JS file. And this is what I have in the JavaScript file. So if you notice that in the JS file, we don't actually have the script tags that we normally would within HTML, because we already know that it's a JavaScript file because it is being called as a JS extension. So the way that this will work It'll work the same way as it did in the previous video where we just showed that we had the alert that said hello world. And it works the exact same way where it looks for the JS file and it runs it as if the code was within the actual HTML. So it runs the same way as if this code was sitting under, between the JavaScript or the script tags. So same way as if we had alert hello world between script the two script tags. So the result would be exactly the same. Thanks a lot for watching. We've got some more great videos coming up, so please subscribe, as well as we look forward to any comments or questions you may have.